We don't really think about how we're going to react or how it's going to affect us when it happens in our own backyard. Gene Whitten with Gateway Counseling was shocked and saddened with the rest of the country after learning about Sunday's mass shooting at Greenwood Park Mall. He says people who were there at the time need to pay close attention to how their minds are dealing with the trauma. When it's not dealt with, it does its toll on the body physically. Everyone responds differently to trauma. Wynn says sometimes it can take years for the unresolved trauma to appear. That's why it's important to get a mental health evaluation after a traumatic event. I feel like we're, we're okay. And then three, four years down the road, we're wondering why am I reacting this way to these particular events? You know, maybe I smell something um, that triggers that experience, that traumatic experience. Um, and we wonder why. Why am I going through this now? There were both adults and kids inside the Greenwood Park Mall at the time of the shooting. He says the way children deal with trauma can be difficult to identify. That's why he says parents need to be very observant. A lot of them don't have the words to express how they're feeling. Um, and those, those feelings come out in different ways. Um, if you're noticing maybe anger, or some some kind of depression where they're withdrawn and just not their normal self um, anxiety in kids. Along with seeking a mental health evaluation, Witten says families who were at the Greenwood Mall together shouldn't underestimate the power of listening and having open conversations. Well, Gene also told Logan it can be normal to feel some type of anxiety when in large crowds after a traumatic event, like what happened at Greenwood Park Mall. However, he says if the feeling lasts for months or impacts your daily activities, you should also seek the help of a mental health professional.